Hello, welcome to this video tutorial. This will show you how to deploy QTS Cloud on Ionis. Go to QNAP Download Center and download the QTS Cloud VMDK image file. Go to the Ionis portal and log in with your Ionis credentials. Go to the Resources page and open the Image Manager. Click the FTP Upload Image button. Select a FTP region where you want to upload the QTS Cloud image. Ionis needs you to upload image files with other FTP apps, for example, FileZilla. Fill the host with the FTP information provided by Ionis. Use your Ionis username and password to connect to the FTP and upload the QTS Cloud image. After the image uploaded, you can see the QTS Cloud image in the image list. Before use the image, we need to update its metadata. Change the OS type from unknown to Linux. Keep the scale CPU and scale RAM in none. Change the hot plug next to hot plug. Change the hot plug virtual I.O. to hot plug and unplug. Save the changes. Go to the designer page and create a data server. Remember change the region to match the FTP region. Ionis provides a special graphical interface. Press the server icon and drag it to the middle window. Click the server icon again and adjust its specifications. Like server name, CPU cores and RAMs. QTS Cloud requires at least 2 GB of memory but we recommended 4 GB memory. Press the storage icon and drag it to the middle window. Click the storage icon again and adjust its specifications. This disk will be used as a boot disk so 10 GB is enough. Select the own image that we uploaded to the FTP. Press the storage icon and drag it to the server icon. The boot disk has been attached to the server. Another way to attach disk is click the plus button on the server icon. Select create and attach storage. This disk will be used as a data disk. Only disk more than 48 gigabytes will be recognized and listed as data storage disk in Cloud. The minimum disk size needed to create a storage pool is 144 gigabytes and 200 gigabytes is recommended. Press the green button under the internet icon and drag it to the plus icon above the server icon. Press the provision change button to launch the QTS cloud. The system will show warnings if some elements use the default name. You can back to change those names or press provision now to force launch the QTS cloud. The system will show message to let you know the QTS cloud has been launched.
you can access QTS Cloud by using the IP address displayed on the network page. Click the Start Smart Installation button to initialize QTS Cloud, you can find the initialize video in the description. Please subscribe to our channel to get more information about QNAP products. Thank you for watching.